So we have been getting a lot of media coverage on No Rest of the Wicked leading up to its release, including Game Informer coverage, the future game show giving us even more details about the game, but in particular we got details about the in-game system and the areas we can expect to see in No Rest of the Wicked. But if you have not seen my previous video be sure to check that out where I go over the Wicked Showcase which basically goes through the main aspects of the game. For example the sacrament, the town, the combat and the different types of enemies and bosses we can expect to see. But if you have seen that video let's go over the details we have recently learned. So No Rest for the Wicked will release into early access with these zones available on Isle of Sacra. They are the Shallows, Auburn Glades, Sacrament, Nameless Pass and the Black Trench. So from gameplay we have seen already, we know this is going to be the order of the starting areas, with the shallows being a beach like area that you first encounter and that you wash up on, and the next area being more inland which will be called Auburn Glades. With all the gameplay that's been coming out we did also see the boss that's going to be at the end of the shallows, and we also got some more details about three more areas that are coming to the game. The game's first story update will unlock three more areas, Marin Woods, Lowland Meadows and Hunter's Vale. We didn't get any details about the areas, but the Vale and the Meadows does sound a bit lighter toned compared to the Black Trench. It is a bit too early to tell, so we don't know what these areas are going to involve, what they're going to be, but it's good to know that there's more areas in the pipeline for the story update. They haven't given a date for the story update, but it's going to be coming sometime after the multiplayer one. Next up we did get a bit more info on the end game system, and in particular the Crucible. So the end game is going to have multiple different loops instead of one focus. The first system that we already know of is the Alive system and is what I touched on in the previous video. So it's basically making No Rest for the Wicked world feel alive and breathing that is always changing and has no empty boring areas. We did get a quote on this Alive system. The devs have stated that No Rest for the Wicked will feature an Alive system, making the world of Isla Sacra a constantly shifting and changing world. This system will make the game engaging without creating empty areas, even if you have already cleared them previously. So for example, if you went back to an area in the beginning of the game, and you have already cleared out the enemy type, it could be inhabited by a new enemy, along with new resources and new loot to pick up. The other end game system we got a bit more info on is the Serum Crucible. So this is only going to be available in the post campaign and is basically a randomized dungeon crawl. One of the co-founders of Moon Studios said that the Crucible was inspired by Diablo 1's dungeon. In the Crucible there's going to be various different statues with each statue taking you to a different set of rooms with different challenges, uh, different stipulations. For example you might have a stipulation with no armor or enemies might apply a certain debuff. In addition to Diablo, Melee compares the Crucible structure to that of Hades and that each room offers a specific randomized challenge which could focus on platforming, combat or puzzle solving. You never know what enemies will spawn each run either. As for what awaits players at the end of the Crucible, Moon is keeping that surprise close to the vest. So basically the Crucible is going to be a repeatable experience with a randomized set of everything. Different challenges, different stipulations, different enemies, different loot. So it's going to be encouraging for the player to keep going and just get the best loot possible for their character. On top of this they did hint at something else that might be in the end game but they did not touch on that system at the moment. And that is all the extra details we have learned at the moment just about the world and the end game systems. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more No Rest for the Wicked content. I'll be covering details as we hear them. And I'll also be covering the game throughout its early access lifecycle. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.